Hello Strange Photography and just a very brief video while I'm sitting here waiting around for something. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick video on a subject um, as a Nikon user. Not that my opinion matters, who am I? I'm no big deal, I'm not massive on YouTube or anything, but I am an experienced Nikon user. So if my opinion counts on this, maybe. Um, I've had eight Nikons in my time, four crop sensors and four full frames. So I know Nikon back to front and where I'm at now, I've got two Nikon D750s and I'm more than happy with those cameras. They're, they're all that I need. I don't need anything better or more expensive. They're perfect for what I need. Um, so naturally, when the new line of mirrorless cameras were coming out, the Z series cameras of Nikon, it was like, oh, this is going to be exciting. Considering Sony are just like rinsing it at the moment with the mirrorless system. Um, so yeah, I was quite excited about the new Nikon mirrorless. And as a Nikon customer, I just want to say straight off the bat that I don't care how good the Z cameras are. I don't care if you could shoot at a million ISO clean, if you could focus on a mosquito's eyeball in mid-flight, if you could pull out the shadows of a black hole in dynamic range, I don't care how good it is. I wouldn't touch it in a million years because it's got the one memory card slot. Um, and the same goes for Canon, I suppose, if you're a Canon shooter. What on earth and why they bring out these really expensive cameras with one memory card slot is beyond me, but I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't shoot anything important with it and certainly not somebody's wedding. I think it's really irresponsible to shoot a wedding without two memory cards on the go now or two cameras preferably, but it's not expensive to get a camera with two memory cards. One of my older Nikon cameras that I've still got, I keep for holidays and stuff, is a Nikon D7000. 10 years old, you can get them for peanuts now. It's got two memory card slots, shooting raw. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be that irresponsible to photograph someone's special day um, with one memory card. Other jobs, like commercial jobs, or like I did one today, I did some commercial um, headshots for a company, hence the studio piled in the back here. Um, but if that went wrong, say the memory card failed, if I only shot on one, it'd be very, very embarrassing, but I could go and do it again, have to rearrange it all, and you know, it wouldn't be very good for my reputation. But it's something that could be done again, but someone's wedding, no way. And you're talking about something that's gonna be special for the rest of their lives, and there's no need to photograph someone's wedding now with one memory card slot. I just think it's really, really irresponsible. Some people have said before, oh no, they never fail and all that, and blah, 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 but, I've had one memory card fail on me before. It was a sand disc as well. Fortunately, I was just on holiday, and one day when I took a handful of pictures, they didn't record at all. It just it just said failure. So that could have been something important. It could have been someone's wedding. So um, as far as the new Z, Z series cameras, and judging by the reviews on them, they're not groundbreaking. They're, I don't think they're even as good as the Sony by the looks of it when it comes to autofocus and things like that. So. It looks like they brought out this new revolutionary, really expensive camera that's just gone back in time, and it's like they've missed the boat. They've, they, they're not. I don't think they're any match for Sony, not by a long shot. Um, I'd rather have the new. If I had to invest in a new mirrorless, it'd definitely be the Sony. If I do step up to mirrorless, it'll be the Sony system, the A7 III. Um, and the next in line would be the new Fuji X-T3, I think. Even the X-T2 I'd rather have than the new Z C Z series because it's got the two memory card slots. I wouldn't dream of shooting a wedding or anything important that can't be redone again with one memory card. It's just irresponsible. Some people will leave comments going, no, no, it's ridiculous, but it's true. Memory cards can fail and one has failed on me before. That's why I got rid of one of my favorite cameras ever. I've done a video on it before, the Nikon D700, my, my first full frame. I absolutely loved that camera. The image quality is amazing, but it had the one memory card slot. And every time I did a wedding with it, I used to cack myself. And every time I loaded the memory card, I was like, please, please. But fortunately it never failed, but it could do. Um, and that's why I got rid of it and stepped up to cameras with two memory card slots. You don't have to spend a fortune on these cameras with two memory card slots anymore. And for the latest technology in mirrorless and all that, and Nikon's had all this time to do it, and that's what you come up with. So, sorry, if I move over to mirrorless, it's not gonna be Nikon. So, just my opinion as a nobody, but a very experienced Nikon user, I wouldn't touch the new Nikon Z series in a million years.